Hello there. My name is Lynette Chandler from Thrive Anywhere. And today we are going to talk about how to create a color palette in Affinity Designer. This is one thing I absolutely love about Affinity Designer because it lets me create color palettes super quickly and easily without using other tools as I have been doing for so many years. There are three different ways to create a color palette. The first way is manually. Here I have an image with colors I want to use in my project. I add the image to my document and to the right of the workspace, I have the color panel open. If you don't see this panel, go to window, click on swatches. Sometimes it's also tucked under another panel to your right over here. I just dragged it out so you can see better for this recording. From here, click the three lines on the top right of the panel, then click either document palette or application palette. So what's the difference? Document palette exists only in this document. So if you have another document open or another document that you want to use it with, you really can't unless you export the palette and then import it back. While application palette, you can use the palette with other projects. So if you think you will be using this palette for different projects, then absolutely make it an application palette. Now we'll use the color picker tool to select the color I want in my palette from this image. When the color is selected, click on this icon here to add the color to your palette. And I'll just keep doing this until I get a nice palette that I'm happy with. Using this method, you can select the exact colors that you want. The next method is asking Affinity to pick the colors from the current document. To do that, click the same hamburger icon Hover over Create Palette from Document. Again, choose what kind of palette you want and click it. Instantly, you will see a bunch of colors extracted from the document in your palette. Finally, the third way is similar to the second, but instead of the open document, it's creating a palette from an image. The process is the same. Click the hamburger icon, Create palette from image, select the image you want to use, and you get your palette. Now here's a bonus tip. Sometimes you have one color you really love and want to make that color the primary, and you want to find colors that will go well with it. You can generate that too. Simply right-click on the color swatch, Hover over Create Color Chord and click on whichever one you choose. For example, Complementary or Tints. And that is all. Wasn't that easy? If you enjoyed this video, do me a favor. Like, share, and subscribe to our channel. It'll really help us get the word out and you can feel great for being wonderful. And do come over to our website to say hello. You will find a link to our website in the description. And while you're there, pick up a freebie from us. You'll find a link on the top menu on the top where it says freebies.